Hello, you're eight and nine. It's Miss Desson here. Welcome to this week's weekly bulletin. I thought I'd start off with the focus of the week. So for this week, I would like you to think of a time when you have shown courage. So the focus is courageous. And I'd like you to either email me or your tutor or you can post on to the Teams chat on your tutor group and share with us a time that you have been courageous. I would like to include some in next week's bulletin. And also for next week, I'd like to include some of the lovely responses we've had back from last week's focus, which was looking ahead. I will keep it anonymous for you, but I would like to share what you have shared with me. Moving on to birthdays. Very happy birthday to Imogen, Rosa and Bilal. I hope you have a lovely birthday this week and find a way to celebrate with your friends and family, even if it is at a distance. And for year nine, very happy birthday to Kai, Tion and Elijah. I do hope you have a lovely birthday this week and again, find a good way to celebrate. I'm still reading Harry Potter. I am obviously getting through all of the different books. I'm nearly finished the second book now, so I'm ready to go on to the third book, but I'm going to see if I can find out what some of the other teachers are reading next week. You are more than welcome to contact me or post onto Teams what you're reading so I can share in the bulletin as well. So we can kind of talk about what you're reading and if there's any book recommendations that you would like over this time. Some news of the week for you, very current, very important. You might already know, or you might not, that the Amazon rainforest in South America is disappearing at an alarming rate. So scientists have been doing some research and they have calculated that a size of a football pitch is cleared. So trees are cut down every minute at the size of a football pitch. And this can be seen through satellite images as well. If you go onto Google Earth and you zoom in on the Amazon rainforest, you can actually see some of the devastation in the forest and the areas that have been clean, uh, cleared. So if you are interested in this topic, I would have a little research into it and you can read the full story on the CBBC News Round website. I posted a geography quiz this week, um, so you can pause the video now if you'd like to, to mark your answers, but they are there. And if you would like to post your scores onto Teams, then please do. And moving on to this week's challenge. So as you know, every week in lockdown, we have had a different challenge each week. And there is always a five pound Amazon voucher up for grabs. I would like to see more year eights and nines getting involved because for the last week's challenge, I didn't have any entries. So please email me what you have been up to. And it's only a bit of fun, um, have a go. So for this week, on the 1st of July, which was a little while ago now, it was International Joke Day. So what I'd like you to do for this week is to make up a joke or a funny poem or a story. And it needs to be written by yourself, not by another family member. It can include different family members and friends if you want to. But if you are going to write about other people, then please make sure it's appropriate. Don't make it offensive because I will just exclude your entry if you send it to me. But remember, it needs to be funny and original, okay? If you are going to send a photograph in and it has got people in the photo, then please make sure everyone's fully clothed and that it is appropriate. And I say that to you every week, so hopefully that is ingrained into your brains now. You obviously need yourself and any pens and paper to write on. Okay, so good luck with that one. And I look forward to seeing those lovely entries. Continuing with the challenges, I want to share with you last week's winner. and. We had quite a lot of entries for this one, which was to take photographs of each letter of the alphabet. And the winner for last week's challenge is Beatrice Russo in year seven. She sent in some lovely entries, really creative, really thinking outside of the box. And they were submitted to Miss Wilson, who's the head of year seven. But I would like to see some more year eights and nines submitting their challenges if they can. As I said, you can email me directly and as a pastoral team, we will look over the entries and we decide who the winner is for the £5 Amazon vouchers. OK, so please do have a little think and get creative and email me your answers. OK, that's it from me this week. 
I do hope that you keep yourself safe and you're looking after your friends and family. And I know obviously it's the last week of the summer term and indeed the school year next week. So there are lots of bits of information that I'm going to give out to you in next week's bulletin. Um, but you will obviously know about next week, we have got tutor sessions. So where you come in for an hour to meet your tutor and some of your friends, which would be really lovely. And hopefully, hopefully you've had an email or a phone call now from your tutor or from me saying what time and day that you need to be in. OK, so I will hopefully see you all in person at some point next week, which will be amazing. And if I don't see you next week, then obviously, hopefully I'll see you after the summer holidays. But um, please do keep in touch and I do hope that you keep yourself safe. So goodbye for now and take care. Bye bye.